All right, welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to talk about how there are Tesla discounts all over the world. It, that's what it seems like, at least to me right now. It's what well, maybe it seems like different to you, but it seems like there's discounts and Tesla on and all these different markets are trying to discount their prices. And so we'll go through some of those discounts on what they're what's actually happening and will it actually when or it, maybe it's maybe it's not a will. It's when will Tesla USA North America start to actually discount their vehicles as well. And when I think it's actually going to happen. But thanks for watching another video. But before we get into that, let's roll that intro real quick. Welcome back to another video. My name is Dennis and I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best Yanni Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. We make what, three to four days now, videos a day now at this point. So definitely hit that subscribe if you are interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description if you want, if you want to support the channel, but more on that later. All right, so if, you, if you've been following a little bit, this is, it seemed to happen yesterday, like last night, because you know, that makes sense, right? Tesla, China, you know, is their nighttime or our nighttime is their morning and vice versa. But this is really where it started to happen. So I've got this kind of ordered in a certain way, but it started to happen in China first. And here's a cool graph that I found that, you know, tracks all the way back from January of 2020 all the way to yesterday. You can see like there's huge dumps at the bottom here, which was yesterday, like where there was a discount. And it's kind of hard to see like from the RMB conversion to you and all that stuff, but I was able to find this article here, of course, or this tweet here from Sawyer Merritt. So shout out to him. Uh, breaking Tesla has reduced their car prices in China. Here are the new starting prices in USD. And I was actually really surprised to see like what type of prices that they actually charge in China for these vehicles. And it kind of makes sense, right? Because these vehicles, especially the Model 3 and the Model Y are produced in China, or at least I don't know about the Model Y, the Model 3 for sure. And you can see right here, Model 3 wheel wheel drive, 33 thousand dollars 11.7 percent drop so that was like that means it used to be like 36 37 model 3 performance forty eight thousand dollars starting price i mean that seems like a slick deal they, they need to bring these prices to america if they can model y standard range thirty seven thousand thirty eight thousand dollars starting like could you imagine could you imagine if there was a thirty eight thousand dollar model y standard range in the u.s today plus the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit that seems like a sleek, slick, slick deal. Model Y long range at 45,103. Model Y performance at 52,318. I mean, the Model Y performance, what is that? Like a $70,000 vehicle here in America? So, I mean, they're somehow able to, you know, charge these prices in the U.S., I mean, sorry, in China. So, I mean, what what's to say they couldn't do this in America? But definitely some crazy drops. Like I bet, like some of the some of the you know Tesla or competitors in China woke up and was like, oh crap, basically at the end. But shout out to Fonz DK or Matthias Fonz on Twitter for creating this you know pretty crazy graph that kind of shows visually what types of price increases. And so I've always thought, you know, they were, were definitely I've seen a trend in the past quarter from like October through December when we started doing these daily streams on how Tesla China was always first to act in terms of price discounts or incentives or referrals or anything like that. And then the other markets would follow suit after. And so I really feel like the USA, maybe even Europe is going to follow suit as well. But there's there really was a trickle effect that started to happen yesterday. First, it was Tesla China, and then it became Tesla Japan. So shout out to Sawyer Merritt again for this tweet. Tesla has reduced the Model Y prices in Japan. New prices starting in yen. So Model Y rear wheel drive $43,000 and the Model Y performance $56,000. So it seems like everybody else across the world gets a cheaper Tesla than the US. What's going on here? Like, are we paying all the profits? No, probably not. But then, then I started to look a little bit deeper and I found, of course, Tesla Australia made some discounts as well. So this is a article from Investors the investors business daily it goes through all the different price drops for you know all the other countries out there that have done it so far so it really seems like china japan and australia were the basically the three countries or three markets that actually came out and so here's a nice graph that goes into it 
for Tesla Australia. Looks like pretty much across the board, like three, you know, two to three thousand dollars, maybe thirty four hundred dollars at max. You know, prices for a decrease in discount, and then also some of the options got changed as well. So red coat was made cheaper by five hundred. The nineteen inch rims four hundred dollars less, and also the induction wheels five hundred dollars less as well. But then they did a slight of hand here. You see how the order fee went up fifty dollars, and the delivery fee went up twenty five dollars, and that's that's volume, right? So twenty five times how many vehicles that they sell in that country. You know, very interesting stuff here. So to really tally that up. I mean, that's what China, Japan, and then Australia. Here's another article from Tesla, you know, Drive Tesla Canada that's talking about the Tesla China decreases as well. So the question is, oh, okay, well, actually, I missed that too. So South Korea also coming out of the gate with some discounts. So that's what China, Japan, Australia, South Korea. So it really seems like it's the Asia, you know, Asian market, I guess, is what, you know, that, that side of the world is where they made some discounts. So the question is, the question is, is when does Europe follow suit? Like, will Europe start to discount even more? And then, of course, the United States after that in North America. I really feel like they're, you know, Tesla's kind of playing the waiting game right here. It's a standoff because regarding the IRS and the Treasury ruling or announcement of, you know, the Model Y not being an SUV. I think they're, they're trying to do this standoff thing because the worst thing that they could happen is if they drop the price of the Model Y long range and the Model 3, or really just the long range today and make it under 55000 and then the IRS and Treasury says, oh, and no, actually, don't, you know, no worries. You can actually charge up to $80,000 for a 5C, and then they're, they're not going to knee jerk react and raise it, raise it right back up, right? It'd be way too much chaos, too much like customers being like, what the heck that, you know, that wouldn't make any sense as well. So I really feel like they're, they're kind of in this standoff with the Treasury and IRS and also with the Inflation Reduction Act. And they're kind of just waiting and seeing if something will happen. And if probably by late January from the earnings call or maybe even late February, if nothing has changed, then that's when I think they're going to be kind of they're you know they're going to be forced at hand to make some changes from that. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what you guys' thoughts on this. Like I think that's going to be the timeline. I even put a poll out there, of course, like I always do. So let me just refresh it to see if we can get some extra votes in here in the queue. So 353 votes. If you want to join the discussion, join on the community page of the my YouTube. So Tesla discounts happening all over the world. When do you think Tesla US will discount? So of course I threw in a today, but you know I, we all know that's really probably not going to happen. At, you know ASAP, not that quickly. Next week, got 20% of the votes. Earnings call January 25th. I think that's going to be a pretty exciting time because I feel like there's going to be you know there's a lot of things that are right on the horizon. Whether it's Tesla Vision slash Radar, the U.S. you know the parking sensors is that ever coming back? What's going on with you know the new generation vehicles? That's probably you know later on in the year, and then also with pricing, they're going to get a lot of questions about pricing. They're probably going to get questions on how did the seventy five hundred dollar discount affect sales? What did they expect more or something like that? Are they going to do that again in January, February, March? Like what you know what's going on with all these markets? Why are they discounting? Are they going to bring that to the US. They're going to get a lot of very interesting questions on January 25th. And so actually, I would say the week after January 25th, if not the week before, that's when we're probably going to see the discounts happening. But the more overwhelming majority, 31% of you out there said maybe February or March is when Tesla US will discount. So let me know you guys' thoughts on it. Do you agree with it? But uh, let's jump into some comments and some questions really quick. But before we get into it, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description, there's a Patreon link where you can support the channel if you would like. There's a variety of benefits for joining, but some of those benefits include actually scheduling a one-on-one -on -one call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even good financing, getting great financing on a Tesla. And after you schedule the call, you get a link to my buying guide, which gets links to all the resources that I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price price and really good financing. And right now there's a couple of credit unions on there that have interest rates from three to 3.5%. And actually you don't even have to schedule the call with me. Just joining the Patreon at a certain level gets that guide. So definitely check that out if you're interested, but let's jump into some of the comments. Alexa says, Hey, welcome, welcome. 